spent the last couple of hours just trimming out some of this 9mm ply, ideal for lining out and uh, insulating behind. Some of these are pretty tricky shapes, just had a coat of decent varnish as well. Another type of varnish, Ron Seal interior with diamond hard protection, good stuff. Quite excited about this, it turned up a couple of days ago, custom made rock and roll bed, red and black. Just going to go behind the uh, main driver's seat for the two passengers. Turns into a six foot by just over four foot bed. Got a bit of sawdust on it here and there. I'll brush off. Just a few random blobs of Sikaflex 221 on the back of this little piece of batten just to bring the floor level up a little. installing that in this area here cover a few holes in the checker plate floor it's about the same level as the, um, the other pieces I put in okay, so when that's gone off I'll be able to screw the last section of this bit of the floor down into it it's the middle of November it's about seven degrees outside got that little heater and that work light and it's lovely and toasty in here Line the back wall with this bubble insulation, try and keep some of the uh, cold out and the warmth in. Just put the first coat of NATO matte green paint on the exposed ironwork inside the truck. Slightly different to the factory colour, but a good contrast. Just fix the finishing strip on the front of the bed. That's got insulation behind it. Hides the uh, support for the bed quite nicely. There's the rock and roll bed, fitted almost where it's gonna be. Quite a job to get it in here, but it's in here. Had to take it apart. Just giving the front a bit of a wash out, clean up the dust, all looks nice and tidy. Here's the view from the passenger seat. Rock and roll bed is in almost the correct position and you can see all the way to the back where the fixed double bed will be. Looking in from the camping door, there's the rock and roll bed. Just need to build some temporary chairs and a table now.